Hey there, I'm Callista Athens and welcome to another edition of Ask the Engineer. Today we're joined by Chris Carrero, Chief Technology Officer at Park Place Technologies. Thanks for being here today, Chris. Hey Callista, thanks for having me. Of course. So Chris, something we're getting a lot of questions about recently is liquid cooling. What exactly is liquid cooling? Yeah, so uh, actually liquid cooling comes in a few different forms. They all in which are um, involved in cooling servers um, with liquid, with a fluid instead of a traditional fans and air um, and air conditioners. Um, you're taking water, moving them over the components of the server to, to cool off the system. Uh, you have a one form which is direct chip where it moves water across a heat sink, removing it from the CPU and, and different components within the system. And then you have immersion, which also comes in two different forms and you actually immerse a server in a tank of oil. Very interesting. So just to clarify with immersion cooling, the servers are submerged directly into the fluid? Yes, it's actually a dielectric fluid, so it's not water or anything that's conductive. So you have a non-conductive fluid and the server is 100% submerged in a bath of this liquid. Um, the immersion itself is um, about a thousand times more cooling capacity than um, than traditional air data centers. That's fantastic. Well, you've definitely given us a lot to think about here. Thanks again for joining us today, Chris. If you have a question for one of our experts, simply add it to the comments section of this post, and we'll see you next time on Ask the Engineer.